Hi guys, it's Aaliyah again. Welcome back to my channel. So this is a different sort of video um, that I'm doing today. Um, I just wanted to kind of talk about some goals that I have this year uh, for crafting and stuff and um, talk about possible upcoming projects. So um, I know I've talked about this in other videos, how I feel like I hoard a lot of my junk journal supplies, supplies that I've gotten at estate sales, flea markets, um, Michael's when they're having some clearance or something like that. And um, I keep it because I like it and I end up not wanting to use it because I like it. Or I'll buy something um, because, oh, I want to, you know, do this with it. And then when it comes time to, I say, oh, but I don't want to use it because I only have one. So starting this year, that cannot be an option for me. What I've decided to do is basically I'm trying to, as I'm somewhat organizing my craft room, I'm trying to um, grab a ephemera that I find, um, cards that I find, you know, any things, embellishments, put them in boxes. Let me just, this box is a little messy right now, but it will kind of give you an idea of what I mean. Um, I don't know if you can see everything, but these are all just pieces of ephemera, um, journaling cards, tags, things that should be used in um, journals that I've hoarded. I mean, these all here are filled with vintage postcards. Um, I think, the yeah, these are vintage postcards too. I have a whole book of, um, and I don't think these are vintage. These are the Susan Branch ones. Um, I don't know if this has a, uh, oh, 94. So it's not that old. But, I mean, I got it because I said, oh, my gosh, Susan Branch. Oh, my gosh, junk journals. And I think I've used one, literally one postcard out of here. And it was like pulling teeth. But I'm like, why did I buy this in the first place if I didn't want to use it, you know? So... This is my box for pulling and making ephemera for journals from. And as it empties and as I go around my room and try to tidy up a little more, I'll keep adding to this box. But basically everything in this box is going to get used. Um, I also have tons and tons of just random vintage papers, whether it be um, I have a lot of resume papers. I have a lot of uh, book pages. Um, well, I'm trying to look over at my shelf what I have. Um, tracing paper. Um, I, I mean like stacks of paper that I've picked up at um, estate sales because usually I like to go on the last day and all the stuff left over, you know, people don't want, but I want it because it's perfect junk journal making uh, material. And most of it's like office supplies, papers, things like that. So I have lots of it. So I don't need to buy anymore. I'm just going to keep, um, from my paper shelf, just grabbing handfuls of paper, keep them in a box, and when I'm ready to make the next uh, project, I'm going to grab from that box, and everything in that box needs to be used. So that way, I haven't wasted all this you know, time and energy and money kind of gathering all these supplies and not wanting to use them. Like That's out the window. I'm going to be using what I have. So with that being said, um, my last few journals have been real eclectic and just random and stuff. Those are the types of journals I want to get back into because number one, it lets me, you know, be creative. I'm not using a kit. I'm not, I'm not kind of like ruled by, I have to use so many pages or whatever. I can just throw together whatever I want, make up ephemera however I want. And it's just, I think for my soul, it will be better because it's just going to make me want to um, just be so creative and, you know, see what I come up with. So that's my plan for this year. Also, and I know I'm probably a little late to the party, um, but I've been trying to catch up on a lot, a lot, a lot of um, older YouTube videos, like of other crafters that I watch, because I'm just so far behind in trying to catch up with things. I mean, I'm seeing stuff from, you know, like a year ago that people were doing, or maybe even, I don't know, maybe last year. I'm not really sure exactly what it is, but... Um, I saw 
a whole bunch of people that were doing the um, altered, well, they use Altoid tins. Um, I prefer these mints. Um, Market Basket is the grocery store that I shop at. And their peppermints, I love them. I, I literally usually buy one of these um, every week, if not, you know, sometimes every other week. But I'm, I'm pretty sure it's probably the same size, but I want to alter the tin or alter the top. I'll probably also put something on the bottom because it does have, you know, this here. Um, and then I want to put a journal inside it because I've seen somebody, a couple people do that. And, oh, <laughs> there's stuff inside here already. Um, but that's okay because I am going to have to use these in journals. I can't hoard these anymore and they can't hide. I remember making these. They're little tiny pouches. Aren't they the cutest things? So I'm glad that I dumped these out. This still has to be, um, this has to be made. But, oh, these are small little pouches. I love these. So definitely going to have to use these in some upcoming journals. So cute. So I'll have to put these probably just aside just so I can see them. I don't want to put them in my ephemera box. I'm afraid they'll slip to the bottom. But, yes, this is definitely a project that I want to do. So I don't even know what the size of this is. Um, I'd have to say the journal is probably honestly going to have to be maybe one and three fourths possibly i'll probably have to use um just a scrap paper to kind of replicate the cover of a journal just to see if it can fit but i'm thinking probably one and three fourths across and maybe by three so it will be a one, yeah it'll be a super super small journal but you know me and small things so it's definitely going to be um Oh, sorry, I didn't realize it's shining. Um, definitely going to be a project that I'm going to love. So I want to do at least one of these um, and see how that goes. And if I like it and enjoy it, I'll probably make more because I do have tins. <laughs> so that's an upcoming project. Um, I also have been using up my, um, my 12 by 12 papers because when I used to do um, mini albums, and also when I started junk journals, and you would buy a pack, uh, a pad of the 12 by 12, honestly, you'd probably use about, well, I shouldn't say everybody, me personally, I would usually use roughly about 75% um, of the paper, and then you have, you know, 25% left over, and what happens, it goes on the shelf, because there's not enough to make another mini album out of. So I do have lots of just a few sheets of this, a few sheets of that, maybe a page of, um, of cutouts or something. So I want to really use those papers to make um, the covers of journals. And depending on how many pages, maybe, you know, some pages on the inside too, definitely use it to make ephemera pieces so it kind of matches the cover. But those are the projects I want to do. I want to start using my 12 by 12 papers because I have a lot. Um, and seeing, you know, if I can make a dent on that, <laughs> I do want to do the, um, the tins. So that's going to be exciting. And I don't know. I mean, there's so much stuff I watch and I'm sure I'll come up with some other things, but I kind of just wanted to give a rundown of what my goals were for, you know, this year and, uh, what's kind of, in my head. So that's enough rambling for me. Um, <laughs> thanks so much for watching and stay tuned and see what my next video will be. So take care and see you in my next video. Bye.